Today I would like to talk to you some about how to take the pipes that I make and install them on a rotisserie style turner. A lot of people have them, they're fairly simple to make. We've got one here. Um, as you can see, we've wrapped some stuff around the bar here. What we've got is actually mostly electrical tape in this particular case, wrapped around here. And I use the half inch pipes for my wife. And the reason is because this hole then is smaller, so it doesn't take as much tape build up on here. So they slide onto here, give it a good push, and it locks in on there. It doesn't come off unless you actually pull on it. That requires adjusting the amount of tape you've got on each of these until it's a good fit. You want it to be tight enough that it won't slide off and that the pipe does not move up and down on its own because it's too loose. But you also want it to be loose enough that with one hand you can take it and put it on the turner so that if your other hand is busy you don't have to drop whatever it is you're doing. Okay, so there's been some questions about how do you move from one turner to another turner. In this case my wife has this single turner that she uses to do her initial work, her initial epoxying and glittering and everything onto it. And then she'll take it off of this turner and put it over here under a 10 cup turner in order to let it dry. And she'll leave it on the single cup turner long enough that it's not going to drip. So when she puts it over here, she doesn't have problems with it dripping between the cups. But because this turner is much more compact, she can fit 10 cups in a small space. So with one hand, then, she can move it from one turner to the other turner and have it locked in and ready to go.